19 Celsius. That's it. I'll be back for lunch. Some news just after 1.30. Bye for now. Welcome back. Louise Brealey is with us, probably best known for her role so far as yet as Molly Hooper, the lovesick pathologist in BBC One Sherlock. Good morning. Hello. Next week, she's going to be treading the boards in a new play called Constellations. The plot isn't an easy one to explain, but it essentially explores how certain situations or even conversations can change the course of a relationship. We can't explain it. <laughs> Louise, can you I, I'm explain it? I'm afraid not. No. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's a two hander, isn't it? It's, yes. It's, it's, it's you and it, it's a Joe couple. Armstrong. Joe Armstrong. You can Armstrong. see in the picture. Got him and there. They might not be um, able to. And you, it's moments that you meet j during life. And is there a what if element to it? Well, what it is is that uh, the characters are a beekeeper and a quantum physicist. I'm sadly the quantum <laughs> physicist. Physics not a strong point, but nevertheless. I've been watching lots of videos on YouTube trying to be clever. Um, no, the, the, the play follows the course of the, this relationship between you know, a man and a woman from their first meeting at a barbecue to the, almost the last time they see each other. And we visit them at six different points during the relationship. And the exciting thing and the challenging thing as an actor is that each life stage sort of iterates differently. So it's her physics is the multiverse theory. So i.e. you know if we make a decision our life might sort of spin off into goodness knows where like the the, the road not um, taken the robert frost poem you know so we, you get to go down some of those roads with them and some of sometimes it works out sometimes it's a shambles and the image we saw a second ago with the balloons yes is that on stage with yes you? we've got loads of balloons with us they're ah. quite they're not real balloons I'm, i hope it's okay to say well, yes of course it is <laughs> some of them are but those ones are not they're pretend they're about 400 quid and you actually <laughs> have your rather beaten up old script with you i know i've got some notes for myself can we have a look? Look, and can on I my hand that? great as long as there's nothing rude written on there no, isn't there's anything? probably loads of rude things but you so this is your this is the actual script right <laughs> and you you've scribbled over oh, everything yes Look at it. Three is weeks of uh, scribbles. Is, so is that how long you've been to rehearse? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the most wonderful thing about the script, when you start, to, when you, the first thing you read, and I'm glad I've got it here because I've written it on here. Yeah. It would have been ineffectual. A change in formatting from normal to bold, for instance, indicates a change in universe. So oh. I mean, ah. that's the way to start a script. It's basically an hour and ten. It's really funny and really sad. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. How different um, so is? It, I'm sorry. No, I apologise. I interrupted. No, I've I've lost my track. Okay, well I'll, I'll get I'll get you on a different track because I was <laughs> really do. interested. It, it, whenever we talk to actors about who have been who are known for the characters on television, so the, the pathologist on television, how different is the experience? Could because this you're quite exposed, aren't you? Um, on stage. On stage. On stage. You, yeah. you are. I mean, we don't have any props. It's just a little black sort of ice rink <laughs> sometimes it feels like an ice rink um uh, it's not actually an ice rink i should probably <laughs> make that clear we're not on skates it'd be an interesting twist uh, it would, wouldn't it i'm in brogues um not skates uh, it's it is exposing and especially at the beginning when you're still sort of finding your feet and our scene changes are sort of sometimes a second long so you know you can't go off stage have a have a drink and go yeah you're just on me and joe right from the start it's just us, and an hour and ten. Of, are you the kind of person who embraces that? Who, who, who enjoys that? <laughs> I think I'd it's be fair to say I'd that that's petrified. not... No. I mean, we're sort of in Liverpool from tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to that. We've just been doing our previews, and that was pretty hairy. We just had the three weeks to rehearse. Normally, you would get a month. Um, but we were, yeah, so there's, a, there's quite a lot of lines that you can see. Are you one of those who, who thinks ner uh, nerves are a good thing? Does that, you know, is that a healthy thing to feel a bit? I think it can, uh, you know, adrenalise you at first. But I mean, is this, a set, you know, sometimes it's useful. Other times you just walk on and tread on a banana skin and, and it's a shambles. So we've had three shows so far. The first one was just like really giddy and super fast. The second one... I messed up the first line and I could see in Joe's eyes like, oh, right, it's going to be like that, is it? I'll be but getting a statement out the, of the way And early. then the third show, you know, that second previews are always a shocker. And then the third show we were off, you know, so hopefully everyone will get a good one now. So you're in Liverpool tomorrow? Liverpool tomorrow and then we're all around the country, Cambridge, Manchester, Southampton, Bristol. Well, and don't Richmond forget. At the end. Don't forget don't your well-thumbed well piece don't of work there. Don't mix it, mix it up nice with our script. Thank you. Very much. Thank, Thank you. you. That's it from us this morning. Now, we'll be able to be back with you tomorrow from 6.30.